Hey, Christy Mattoon here from Christy Renee Healing Ministries and Mind Rewire. I just want to jump on here really fast um, and answer a quick question for somebody um, because it's in kind of the same vein of the questions I've been answering, so that's awesome. And I think it'll help make a little bit more sense of all this. Um, oh, let me go turn off my water real fast. Hang on just a second. Sorry about that. I don't know what you I had to stare at back there, but it probably wasn't lovely. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Um, the question was about using a whole brain state to like spot treat emotional sticking spots. Um, particularly, they were talking about the gut. Um, so we'll use the idea of fear just because that's an overall... Um, kind of thing and it actually fear encompasses pretty much everything else low level, right? So um, If you can address fear you can actually knock a lot of things out, which is super interesting and fun that was loud um, so I'm kind of scattered right now and I won't lie about that. Um, I'm doing stuff in the garden and I'm cooking chicken and uh, That's what the water was for and I've just got a lot of different things going on, but I didn't want to forget to get this video out. So what we are doing here, and I'm going to walk you through this really fast, is literally the idea of spot treating um, different things using a whole brain state. You can do that. Using, putting your brain into a state of wholeness and then spot treating something. You can do that. I want to make that super clear. I kind of think I made the same um, statement on the last video but one of the ways you would do that is to what is the thing you're fighting with right so we're using fear so I literally used to do this driving up and down um, the coast in California when I was driving back and forth between California and Colorado and from here Utah to, Cal to Colorado every time I drive I actually do this kind of a thing for years, it was with anger. I was spot treating anger all over my body. And it was pretty effective. So I'm going to show you how I did that. In this case, we're going to use fear. So all you have to do is literally get coherent. So I get in my heart first. I do the work. I take the deep breaths, right? Inhale, exhale. I said we would do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. On that third exhale, right, you should be already significantly calmed down because you've trained your body in three inhales and exhales to calm down, right? Drop your shoulders, relax your face, relax your system. Move your awareness into your heart space, close your eyes if you need to, and find a feeling of gratitude. Gratitude, caring, Something simple. Once you feel gratitude, I want you to just let your heart start to expand. Let it open up. Feel it, feel it, feel it. It's always about the feeling. Feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Let it open, open, open. Now, once you're here, I want you to hold your awareness inside your heart, but I want you to ask, where in my body can I find fear? And then pay attention. If you find fear, you're going to feel it. Go to where you feel it, right? So in this instance, my gut felt like it kind of dropped. Like, you get that heavy feeling? So I'm going to go to my gut. I'm going to hold my awareness in my heart space. I'm not tall enough for this video. Hold my awareness in my heart space. But I'm going to go to my gut and ask, where in my gut is this feeling? Why am I, not why, I'm not going to ask, why am I feeling this? Unless you want to know. I don't want to know. I just want the feeling to stop. Where in my gut am I finding this feeling that I'm calling fear right now? Because it's what showed up when I said fear. 
So for me, I can literally pinpoint, and I am pinpointing, right? I am looking through my gut. Literally, I've got my hand on my belly, and I'm scanning back and forth until I can pinpoint the place that feels the strongest with what I just called fear. I put my finger on that space. You know where it is, it's inside you. This isn't hard. You know where it is, right? Put your hand on it. Once I've got my hand on it, then I cross my legs, find the direction. Yeah, fine, you know how to do this, find the direction. And then I cross my wrists, I find the direction. So now I'm finding the direction to the space in my gut to that fear. And then I just sit and I wait for it to alter. I wait for it to change. And I just keep noticing and noticing. Stay with it. Keep your awareness on it. Oh, this is being stubborn on me. <laughs> Usually when I do this, stuff changes relatively quickly. This is being stubborn. And honestly, okay, now I'm starting to feel it shift. What it feels like inside me is it feels like kind of an expansive feeling. It feels lighter. Right? The feeling itself is starting to alter, but I'm keeping my focus on that place. Keep your focus on this place. Now, honestly, I think it could be hard for some of the people following me because when I do stuff, it does tend to shift pretty quickly because I've been doing this for so long. It can take time. And I have said before, it can take five minutes. It can take 10 minutes. You might have to do it a couple of different times. If I get a significant shift, and I'm gonna say that that feels pretty good. I could probably do this longer, right? Sit long enough that you get a significant shift. So if you're watching this video, I'm gonna tell you to turn the video off right now and then turn it back on when you're ready. When you've got your significant shift, then turn the video back on, okay. Okay, so I got a significant shift. My gut feels different where I was pointing at, but now I feel it somewhere else. <laughs> Seriously, I'm, I'm like getting curious now. What is this fear? What is this fear? This is left over from my death trauma. All right, I will, I will receive that. And how do I know that? How do I know that? How do I know that I know that's the correct answer? Because I take the first answer I get. That's the first feeling, that's what it felt like was, oh, this is my death trauma. You just know that you know. The first answer is always the right answer. If you allow your brain to kick in, you start getting more information, you've gone down the wrong, the wrong track, right? You're, you're off in your brain making up stories. And your brain will make up some good stories, yeah? So don't do that to yourself. Stay with that first answer. So now I've got my hand on the spot that now it's at, and I'm gonna recross my arms and legs. It might be the same pattern, it might be different. I don't even remember what my first pattern was, so that's fine. I'm just gonna do it again. Now I'm keeping my awareness in this new space. And I will sit here and wait until it significantly shifts in its level of feeling, yes? Yes, okay, good. <sighs> Breathe into it too, right? Use your, use your magical powers of breath because they are. Breathe into it, inhale and exhale. Let it release. When you feel it shift, significant shift. So if you haven't, turn the video off. Let's do this again. Turn the video off. Come back when you get your significant shift. Okay, I've gotten a significant shift. I feel much lighter in my gut, like it actually feels good for a change. It hasn't felt good in a while. I wonder why if I had fear locked in there. Um, so that's how you would spot treat something. 
after you finish, find that better feeling. What does it feel like? Can you label it, right? Put a name to it. I'm going to call this um, peace because to me everything feels like peace. It's just amazing to stay in the level of peace. And I'm going to take this peace from my gut. So I'm going to have it in my gut and I'm going to move it up into my heart. Right? So I'm going to take the peace from my gut and I'm going to move it into my heart. Into my heart. Into the secret space of the Most High. Into that place when you fall into it. You're just like, oh. Yeah, that place. And I'm going to go back to gratitude and I'm going to let that gather. I'm going to let that grow. I'm going to let that get bigger and bigger. Use your hands. We're moving energy. We're creating more. Yeah, it's what these hands are meant for. Creating, moving, and manipulating energy. Once this feels like it's nice and open, your heart feels like it's nice and open and it's big, I want you to take that feeling and move it back down to your gut. So now your peace that you had in your gut when you released that fear, now we're adding to it. Now we're adding peace from our heart and peace from, or and gratitude from our heart. Notice what it feels like. That feels amazing. You have control over your body. You have control over your emotions if you choose to. And your body too, right? You have control if you choose control. So you have to decide what emotions, when, what are you going to allow to stay and harbor, fester inside your body. If I had allowed that, I think the person I don't know if I want to say your name or not, but you know who you are. I thank the person who sent this video. Um, this was again the young man from India. I thank you for bringing this up because I would not have even located that fear otherwise. I've been struggling with some gut issues and now I'm like, oh, I can't believe I didn't even look for that. Um, but it never, never really came. It usually doesn't surface, right? Until there's a reason to make you go, what is this? So nice, thank you so much. Does that make sense? You can do this anywhere, right? So I would take that idea because now that I know I had residual fear from my death experience lodged in my body, I will take that and I will keep working with it. I don't stop there. So the next time I sit down and do this, I get coherent, I get back in my heart space and I say, okay, show me where there's fear left in my body. And you might get a twinge. Now, when I used to do this with anger, I would get a twinge in my big toe. And I'd be like, seriously? Like, what's with my big toe? But I would go to my big toe and I would do the work. I didn't question it. Don't question your body. Stuff lodges in places. You'll have no idea why. Just go do the work. The more of that information you can get out, right? Let it release out of your system transform it into peace let it move into a state that is coherent with what you're trying to create yeah and then all of a sudden everything will oh my gosh that bird is beautiful i think he's like a golden oriole or something we have a backyard that's like set up for wildlife and birds and we get the most amazing birds on our back porch anyway um does that make sense Keep, keep looking, keep looking. I looked for anger in my body for a span of almost two years. I am not joking with you. And I had the bulk of it out. Um, I was to a point where it took a lot to get me angry. I mean, it took a lot to get me angry. So moving it out of your system gives you a level of control. And it also sets your system up in such a way that it takes something very, very serious to get you to that point. So you can handle things better as they do come up. Does that make sense? My perception about things that made me angry changed, right? It didn't have to be this little thing, like somebody pulling in front of me in traffic used to be a good trigger. When the anger was gone from whatever it had come from, which was a childhood trauma, my anger at other people around me left too. Anger in traffic left. Anger for somebody 
hitting my cart in the grocery store. I just don't have it anymore. It's just not there, right? It takes a lot to get me to that point. Like even in our country right now with all the nonsense going on and the stu stupidity, and if you don't agree with me, don't get mad at me, just this is my opinion, the stupidity of that debate that happened the other night, our <laughs> presidential whatever nonsense that is, blew me away. But it didn't bring me to anger, right? Where normally I'd be like fuming and, and I'm like, you know, whatever. Two old guys sitting on a stage being stupid, whatever. At the point I need to get angry, I can get angry. At the point that you need your ability for your body to tell you, hey, it's time to run or put up your fists or whatever the thing is, you will be able to do that. You are not canceling out the ability. Do you understand? You are canceling out the, the representation of the issue, fear, anger, whatever, <clears throat> and the emotional trauma or the, um, the, yeah, the emotional trauma, whatever trauma came with it, whatever caused it originally, you're kind of canceling that out and saying, no, I'm going to be in peace to that issue so that I can have peace in my life. I'm going to be peace to that issue so that I don't have to keep dealing with this fear, anger, whatever, rejection, sadness, whatever it is, loathing, whatever it is. You don't have to deal with it until you need to deal with that with a current subject or issue. Okay? Okay. Thank you. I feel wonderful. That was amazing. Comment below if this helped you. Let me know. What are you working on? What are you working on? Anybody watching this, comment below what are you working on. And we'll keep doing these where we actively go through stuff that will aid you in moving your dial. Okay? I bless you. I thank you. Please like, share, subscribe. I have been going live lately. I tried to go live off of Zoom the other day. That was kind of funny. Um... But I'll try and do some more of all this kind of stuff. If you hit the little bell, they say it'll notify you when I go live. So if you want that, that's available. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, peace. Have a great day today. Hey, happy 4th of July if you're in America. And whatever that means at this point, I don't know either. We're going to shoot off fireworks either way. <laughs> Bless you.